Good morning. Today, Jesus gave us a road map to happiness. If I ask all you, of you here today, who don't want to be happy? Especially when you wake up in the morning, nobody wants to be miserable. All of us want to be happy in this life. Today, Jesus gives us the pathway to happiness. He told his disciples and us about Beatitudes. The attitude is supreme blessedness, the message of Christ for all humanity. There are many people who look to and we say, why do they look so happy? They model an example of the joy and happiness that Christ provides. What are they modeling exactly? What Jesus tells us about the Beatitudes that make us happy, he said, Blessed are you who are poor. Blessed are you who are hungry. Blessed are you who are weeping. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude and insult you. These sayings doesn't echo ours or the world understanding of happiness, it sounds kind of miserable. And what Jesus said, Woe to you who are rich. Woe to you who are filled. Woe to you who laugh. Woe to you when all speak well of you. Sound strength to our ears because the world tells us that those things make us happy, right? Popularity, success, and wealth. Jesus gives us different values today. He doesn't condemn the wealthy. What he is saying is that when people are blinded by their fortunate circumstances, they are unable to recognize the love or the goodness of the kingdom of God. So, where is true happiness? It is when you are humble. Happiness is when you sacrifice popularity, when you give the glory to God where it truly belongs. Then we discover real happiness. Sometimes Christians make the mistake of saying that the world is all about suffering, right? We have to deal with it and suffer, and then we get to heaven, we get our rewards. We just hang in there until we get to heaven eventually. That is not what Jesus says. There is suffering and there is sacrifice. But when we accept and work through our sacrifices in Jesus' way, we discover true and real happiness in this life and the next. A good example of this is Mother Teresa of Calcutta. If you look at her picture, if you look at this woman, she was constantly happy. Although she went through so much suffering in her life, she made so many sacrifices for her ministries, for her people of Calcutta. And yet, she was happy. And give us a living example of the Beatitude. She's a great example of Christ's roadmap to happiness. She is a great example for all of us. Happiness that rests in humility and self-denial and fulfills this life. My dear sisters and brothers, our happiness rests in God alone. We are confronted with the choice. 
So, here is your choice. What do you choose? Do you choose the pathway of happiness that our world suggests when you are only focused on worldly goods and success, achievement, popularity, or do you choose Christ's pathway to happiness with humanity and sacrifice, believing that is what makes you truly happy in this life and in the life to come? True happiness is not found in riches or well-being, in human fame or power, or in any human achievement, but in God alone, the source of every good and of all love. My dear sisters and brothers, as we continue our celebration today, let all of us celebrate this Eucharist with hearts overflowing with joy and gratitude. And let us choose the best choice in our lives. Amen. <laughs>